So this is the second machine that a coworker brought me. It's a Predator pressure washer. Still got compression, it's really dirty. I don't know what the part situation is like on these. Uh, it's got this little uh, bit here. You must clean air filter regularly. So I'm assuming that this air filter is uh, a foam type air filter. And of course, I don't even, here we go. Yeah, so it's just a foam air filter. This, uh, other than being dirty, I don't think this pressure washer has too much, too many hours put on it. Compression's good, nice and healthy for a Honda clone. Let's see if we got gas in it. There is some gas in it. it smells a little stale. So we'll drain that out, that's no big deal. And the oil. Oil's not too bad, but first, before we do anything, we're gonna have to give it a bath. So finally gonna get started on this pressure washer. It's got old gas in it. First order of business is to empty all the old gas out. So I'm gonna do that really quick off I've already camera. checked the air filter, it's good. The oil is clean. This thing, I would guess, probably only has maybe a two, three hours of usage on it. The uh, owner said that he bought it from another one of our coworkers a few years back and that person claimed that they didn't use it all that much either. And when he bought it off of him, he couldn't get it to start. So he's had it ever since. It collected a bunch of dust and he finally brought it to me to uh, hopefully get it running. Just drained all the old gas out of it. It really wasn't that much, surprisingly. I thought there was more, but let's go ahead and pull apart the car. First thing we'll do is undo the air filter box, take the air filter off, and now we have some access to the carburetor. 10 millimeter. And this should come off. Well, it's got this PCV line going to it. And this bolt here. And all we're gonna do is just set this aside now we have much better access to the carburetor. This is what I found on the one that I replaced. It was completely gummed up with varnish and congealed, congealed fuel. And then this part of the float pin mount was completely broken off and it was just floating in the bowl. The bowl itself isn't too bad, but there's a little bit of corrosion. So what I ended up doing was getting a uh, aftermarket carburetor for an aftermarket engine that's a copy of a Honda. Well, straight from the bowels of Amazon, we have this new Chinese carburetor. Let's see if it'll uh, work out for us. Of course, this is my biggest worry with stuff like this is that it's sold in a universal capacity. So they claim it'll work, but you know, you don't know until you try it out. So this kit comes with two fuel filters, the associated gaskets, which I'm not even gonna bother changing those, a fuel hose, and then your off-brand spark plug. But let's look at the carburetor and see if they sent us the right one. Definitely some differences. This one's actually got a uh, adjustable mixture setting on it, it looks like. So the new one has a spring on the, auto, on the choke, which we don't really need that. So back at the machine, I've got the gasket here, but all I've done is installed it back onto the throttle governor arm. And just moving that out of the way. Gasket back on. There we go. Well, like I said, this is one of the bigger issues of trying to find a universal carb for one of these Chinese engines. You always run into a problem. 
yeah, you might have to swap some parts around up here with the old carb to make things work. But right now, the inlet for the fuel is the wrong size. So I'm either going to have to get the right carburetor or cut the fuel line right there, convert it over to the smaller size, and be done with All right, it. So I got the replacement carburetor on, got the air box on. Apologize for the wind if that's an issue. But choke works fine. So full choke. It's turned on. I just put some fresh gas in it. Now the only reason I'm running this is it's fine now, but I was just running it to uh, purge the air out of the lines, but I think we're good. So we'll just set this right back. Oil's good. Check that at the beginning of the video. But let's see if it'll start. He's going to be happy with that. I already gave him his mower back. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for more.